say it's something decorative or put a plant by the shitter, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that'll make them a little bit happier. Welcome back, everyone. This is Panicking with Grey Wolf's Den, and we are bringing you some more Space Haven. Alpha 16 for Space Haven has just now been released, and it has been suggested by the developers and everything to start over a fresh new world. So that's what we're going to do. As we hop into that, this is going to be our crew for our new Space Haven ship. And we are getting ready to jump into Alpha 16. So this is a little bit different of a setup. If you remember when you originally start up to have a block, basically this outside block, you don't have all this right here cordoned off like it is now. So we've got a system core, the power generator, thermal generator. You got our normal shuttlecraft. A sunflower and you have pod hangers and you have a builders and you have a miner two builder pods now instead of having the original you had two miners and they did the same thing whereas now you just have one miner and you can change this over if i'm not mistaken from what i read you can change this over some type of way all right so ship storage is full obviously nowhere to lax and we have no tools facility so let's go ahead and get that started up we also now have a, a ore processor this will process all your ore for you so there's just a few things that have come up you also have a cargo port where you will attach to your ship designed to uh transfer bulk cargo between ships and stations so that's just some of the few things that we've that we know about will uh, come across through the systems once I can find this bleeding ass tools facility. I'm looking right over this. There it is. Her. So we'll get the tools facility put in. We have nowhere to relax. So let's get some beds in as well. No, we'll need them. We'll also put in a kitchen the kitchen there and we'll put in a table with some chairs for everybody to say that now as before you can see of course no tools just yet but we do have some haul blocks and everything so we will start needing to build the ship up as well fairly quickly jago and yuri are our are going to be our away team so we need to go ahead and get them set up with weapons we'll get jago as well get him drafted we'll go ahead and get the main two away team with weapons already in, in their uh inventory and we'll go from there so we are building the tools facility and a few other things as well uh, we're building the, we have the bunk beds going in the tools facility once it they start dropping off things for that get another light up here and let's see what's going on oxygen generator and a gas scrubber so we have insufficient stuff there so we need an oxygen generator that we can easily just throw right here and a gas scrubber we'll just throw right beside it also, let's go ahead and make sure that our people are also gathering up these supplies in this area. Let's see, where is the, where's the ice? So they can go ahead and start gathering up those areas and we would eventually send our team over. We could go ahead and send them now. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab Jago and Yuri and send them all over here to Start exploring our first derelict ship, or of the new Alpha 16 season, anyway. All right, so we're already getting attacked. Yeah, they got a lot of bugs on this one. Oof, this one's rough. Let's go fill up on some O2. 
We'll keep on exploring a little bit. Don't want to go too far. Just want to make sure. Step over here. Kind of go around and see what everything setting up like. I want to brush up on. All right. So we've got this whole ship now explored. And let's get our people back over here to our shuttlecraft. So we will start salvaging this derelict ship. Let's see what all. Yeah, it's got some food and things that we could use as well. We'll have them go ahead and grab all that. And once they grab all the supplies, then we will salvage the ship itself. They are now finally getting the last bit of the uh, oxygen generator put in. Still have a few more chairs to build. And let's see about building up our ship here. So we're coming out at eight here. Seven. Eight. Eight. We are expanding the ship's old brother. Do just like that for right now, just to expand this. We can always move this airlock later on. It'll just be used for dropping supplies off to put in our storage areas so we've got the beds already built but they are saying that we need to get a facility here pull it of course we don't have much of an area to really put it in so we're just going to set it here for right now the game since the update looks a little bit cleaner and everything you know the a bit more details and ship and all the components and all could be just me but it does look like it's a little bit more cleaned up and you now you can hear him walk around I haven't you probably could before as well but I just wouldn't pay attention I think you could but just never really paid attention to that much um, beds are already built so I don't know what's going on with that toilet has not been built as of yet looks like we still have some people out one over here maybe looks like we got some people over here mining this uh, Last of that up. Let me speed them up a little bit so I can get through the night. They uh, they did say that our storage uh, units were already full, so we do need to also on this hole bring a good bit of it back so that we have room on the back side for all this stuff. I'm gonna go right there for right now. But we're gonna have, end up having a huge ship. So we know we have plenty of room to make sure we have or have plenty of whole blocks to do the backside. So we got a new one here. This is the new energy cell. This is what the medical supplies look like. Now it's changed up a little bit. So they they're keeping the game trying to keep the game fresh and everything. Keep us keep all the players and content creators and everything like that. Um entertaining and going with the game which i really do like this game i think it's uh it's a lot of fun i do get in these type of games of colonization or sims or you know similar yeah simulators as well so this kind of stuff is a lot of fun for me all right we're gonna go with it a little bit see what we can get that we needed to build a uh, stabilizer so we can go ahead and throw that in right here out the way as well we got one section of our incre uh, ship right here increased. One side of it done anyway. Still got one more of hyper to get. Home stability achieved. We need to also change our our name here to the minute. There's water collector and water purifier. USS Gray Wolf's Den. Don't need to worry about all that just yet because there's going to be a lot of flux fluctuations in the temperature and, and everything while this is being built and as you can see now it used to be the pods would just come from the underneath or on the bottom to build up the ships and now you can see them they're starting to come across so that's another thing smaller ships will be able to go across the top of your your main ship or other ships and you'll see they're a little bit of grayed out when they go across I do have that Let's see. Let's check out. So, all right, they got all the supplies off of. So, let's start scrapping this bad boy. Some of these supplies and stuff off. So, while our people are sleeping here, we are going to go ahead and check out a couple of the logs. 
This is the apocalypse log. You can read it there. So we'll scroll down to the next part. And then the call me crazy log. Entry one. Now, if you remember on the, the last recordings we did for Space Haven, um, when we got to the call, call me crazy first log that we found was not actually entry one. It was entry five or six, I believe. So this is the beginning of it. Captain Floyd Pierce, of course, still captaining the Call Me Crazy. All right, and there you go with that. So let's get back to moving forward here with our ship. Uh, we're not really moving. We're setting still at the moment, of course. Just waiting on these or these people to get some rest and can start working on other stuff. We'll go through here and dismantle these this whole wall system here. Get it out of our way. So they are up getting something to eat now and moving along. Building our ship up. Going to take off over here. We got two so far. And all four now. All four are going to the ship to start breaking it down and salvaging what they can from this derelict ship that we've explored that we explored. But there is a lot of stuff here for them to get. This is, uh, minerals, uh, minerals, materials, and supplies. This stuff, uh, unfortunately, when you break it down, it's broken down into scrap. And so it's not that we can just take these engines or so or or processor. I think they just broke down or shell generators that they just broke down and just take it back to our ship, which would be wonderful. We could just take them back and use them. But unfortunately we can't we have to research and learn our own speaking of research though while they are doing this we're going to go back to our ship and go ahead and get that research table built if we can just gotta remember where the hell is it there it is all right this is the research workbench and this is the research lab. All right, just like that. For right now, you, if, of course, you'll know we'll we'll be moving a lot of this stuff around because our walls and stuff will move, and so will everything else. Don't like really moving stuff around all that much, but when you're in a when you're doing this kind of stuff, you kind of have to do it. So, so once they get these walls moved out of the way here, as you can see, our docking port here is pretty full full up so once they get this and these walls we'll start putting some more storage bins back here to alleviate some of that problem let's check out how things are going they've got all the tech uh, tech and energy scrap all so that's good like moving it out pretty quickly mm -hmm. and getting some sleep still got plenty of everything so far we got plenty of food do need to get our other two people, Chastity and Bessie, arm, uh, armed, of course, just in case we get boarded, which I have not seen happen yet this early in the game. So, so the system core is what's going to increase our system points for us to build on, whereas hole stabilizers used to do that before. So that's when, in the update, that's one of the things they kind of changed around a bit. So that's uh, something that will be pretty good for us. Uh, I mean, there's just a different way to get these uh, system points to be able to build everything you need up on your ship. They are moving along, cut through this ship fairly well. Still got a good amount to pick up, but they're getting it. They have none on soft scrap anymore. That's uh, also thing we need to check out as well. What? um facilities do we have as far as breaking this scrap down we do need a water purifier and a water collector that was uh, i think mentioned earlier I'll just put the water purifier there and the collector there beside it recycler would also wouldn't hurt to be go ahead and throw in as well but Kind of limited on where I can put it at the moment. So I don't want to cover up my um, storage units that I'm going to have to build here in a minute. 
research table is being our research lab excuse me is being built so we can definitely get on our research so let's start off with the botany um medical bed not to worry about those just yet uh, um, not really worried about metal refinery or robotics at the moment let's do the x1 do refinery after that item fabricator we'll probably end up changing this around a little bit as well as we learn i mean as we go through and researched as well so we will we'll probably end up getting changed up here and here and there just out of necessity or what's more important that needs to be researched to start off or going forward mm -hmm. still salvaging we have now have a pod that's out that's actually salvaging the whole of the ship now we do have someone here says this is the moss of astral see they have medical service and they have trade so they got hyperfuel. Hyperfuel is contained in a different way, it looks like. And so is grains and hops. So let's trade and see what they got. I got food. Nothing that we really need. But it doesn't hurt to look around. See if they have any good stuff that we could use. We're going to hold off on any trades. So it'll be fine it'll be fine we don't need, really need anything right now anyway so we can break pretty much break down everything that we need ourselves all right we're starting to clear off the dock now we we'll get some more things in here until that just filled it back up and this is just gonna fill it up too i do like the idea of the wall and the doors kind of like blocking off the um Pods and airlock and everything, but the way we uh, oh, excuse me, the way we build our ship and everything, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult um for them to be right there, kind of like to have them maybe even center on the or on the backside out of the way per se, but we'll figure out where we want them. Might even make our ship big enough that we have two of the shuttle pods because. In the last game, or in the last series that we did, um, we'd lost a couple crew members because our shuttle pod was running back and forth doing other tasks instead of getting people back to the ship and having oxygen and you know other life-sustaining things like food. All right, let's go to storage and get us another storage compartment put in. We also have to contend with building these two right here. The asteroid cargo port and the cargo port. Risk of a mental breakdown. What's going on with you? What's up with you? Feeling sad. Someone mean to me. Awake. Work. Space suit. Fatigue. Injured. Okay. So they're not completely 100% happy with everything. But, you know, such is life. Especially with just four people on the space station. There's found determined to be issues and problems between folks and stuff wish we had did have some type of entertainment or something that would help them but right now we really don't i don't know maybe put in something decorative or put a plant by the shitter i guess <laughs> maybe that'll make them a little bit happier that they have a plant by the shitter now Anyway, I'm not on high on high capacity grid. Okay. All right. So this is where our problems are going to start coming in. Why it's not on the high capacity grid is right next to the damn generator. How you not requires power note. So we'll need a power note. Get that crap off. And we'll probably do. We can do a big one, but I'd rather do a. I don't want to put it right there. Can y'all get some more crap put in here? I'm going to have to move the bleeding thing. All right. I'll just set it right there for right now. They can get by. So our large power node will go up in just a moment. don't really want to put it there, but they're not expanding the ship on the backside at the moment. They're trying to finish off this wing here. Once they get that wing right there fixed up, we will start moving a few things around here and there. Um, possibly 
getting the um, people over in that area. Now we got two people. What's going on with you? Chronic wound, crawler bite, no entertainment. I'm sorry, there's no entertainment, guys. There's just nothing I can do about that yet. Research. No, no, no. Where is that jukebox? Can we move it up so they have some type of entertainment? We're going to move it up so they have some type of entertainment. Maybe that'll help them not be as sad, but they're going to be sad because this is space and this is just the way it is. All right, folks, let's go, let's go. How much more we got on this salvage of this ship here? Only thing this whole scrap is left. So once that whole scrap is uh, gathered up, we can move. We can't even leave because we don't have any engines built yet. So we can't leave until we have some engines. Form ice into water. All right, it's wanting us to, I don't know why, we've got plenty of water. But we'll do it just to make them happy. All right now we've got three or four core points. So as you've seen just there, the X3 core system requires four. The X2 only requires two. And this is what's going to give you system points as far as getting increased and everything. But it does bring your comfort levels and everything down. So you got to make sure that it's not in the area where you want to sleep or entertain your crew. All right, so once they get this back side here, we'll try to start moving some of that around. Let's get this stuff moved if we possibly can. Okay, so they're starting to finish it up on the back side. We've got some things moving around up on the front side, and we're still getting more mental breakdown. Yuri, Lord, have mercy. What the Panic in. That's me. Uh, no entertainment. Uh... Work, moderate discomfort, feeling a little hungry, uncomfortable sleep, and they are awake. I'm trying. I'm trying, Yuri. I know you don't want to work or anything right now, which they actually will not do any work while this is going on. So, try and do our best to get them past this point. There's nothing much else I can do. Don't know why this is not getting done. They need to hurry and get it finished. Hopefully Yuri don't jump off the ship and take off somewhere and go sleep or something. Do we need some lights or something? Is that gonna peek you up or anything I'm telling you? Hopefully they'll get past this point. Ship is pretty well salvaged out. Just got a little bit more to go there. We still gotta put engines on this bad boy. So let's check out what Engine wise, we got the Hyperm Drive, and we're still going to have to build a navigation console as well. So we'll try to get those in the back side here, and we still got to get our navigation. We got people having issues with everything that's going on, that's doing a lot of movement, and not having a lot of happiness and go between with all this. So hopefully, we can start getting some of this stuff taken. So that we can get beyond the risk of mental breakdowns with three of our people now. Yuri's already got past theirs. It's the other three having their issue. All right, we got an incoming ship next round. Chastity's doing some more research for us. This is our system in BIOS Coda Border. This is also another thing that the developers put in. Each one of the systems will now be named or have a name. That's a good thing. It shows us what all systems we still got to traverse through to get through this first one here. All right. They're getting the backside of our ship built in now. Let's check out. Let's see. We've got, we are sitting at 30 whole blocks right now. Uh, it's going to take about eight more. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just go ahead and get it far back as we can because we know we're going to use a, a large majority of it up. So might as well just go ahead and get it taken care of now. All right, we still got metal brace down with the three of the others, Chastity, Jago, and Bessie. I have a scout in. Can't talk to him. I don't have an operations table yet, brother. Sorry, I can't help you with that. All right, everything here is done. We can trade with you, I believe. 
you do have beer, maybe that will um, cheer our folks up a little bit. Let's get eight of them. Is there anything else that we could possibly use? Give me some water. I'll take two of your water. All right, what do you need? What do you want? You got energy cell. I can sell you that. A whole block. All right, so we'll have that trade that's going to come through. That's going to give us some uh, mild alcohol, as it's called in the game, but basically beer, which will maybe increase our people's happiness a little bit so they won't be so damn moody. Let's get our last chair in place over here in our kitchen area. We'll get another light up here as well. Just a little bit more on our ship. We can start building our engines, but we can go ahead and place our navigation console in the area. So we'll go ahead and get that put in. Might want to go ahead and get the um, operations or operations console put in. And then once those two are in and our hole back here is finished, we can throw in our engines. Our ship looks like a big ass, I don't know, shortened Thor's hammer maybe. We are moving along as fast as we can right now. People are still asleep. Hopefully we can get this on this turn right here. Get the rest of this hole put in so we can start putting our engines in. And when the engines get in. Alright, they also want me to build the recycler, so let's go ahead and... Get our recycler put in there for the time being. Let's see how much further back our hole will go. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah, it's almost done. So as soon as he comes in and grabs a little bit more um, hole blocks, he'll go out there and finish the last bit of that up. Bessie is doing some research on the research lab, or in the research lab navigation console and now the operations console is put up our recycler is going up as well and the rest of our hole on the back side is finished so recycler let's see what we got we got 40 telling us to build our engines sorry i just closed out of the way you can see it there we've got 40 so we're going to knock this 20 real quick to get that low and get our whole scrap build back up so let's go ahead and get our engines in place. We'll leave a little bit of a gap between. So we were at there. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. All right, we can officially jump to our first system. We can now perform our first hyperlane jump. All right, so there's nothing here as we can see. Here we've got a few things along with a few ships. There's nothing here at this one. So let's head off to the next system. We'll drop in and we'll start gathering up some of these uh, supplies. We've got two derelict ships and ice. So let's go ahead and pause. There's a couple things here. Seek out the star system cluster hyperlane. All right, so here we've got ice, basic ore, and exotic ore. So let's back out there, and we're going to cannot mine. Why cannot we mine? To mine ore, this type and ore processor is required on a ship or a station. So this is another new thing that has been brought into the game. You now have to have an ore processor in order to get these ores right here. We are definitely going to need be needing that. While that's there... Let's check out and see what it takes to build an ore processor. Ore processor. Doesn't take much. Ore processor is a facility capable of separating valuable resources from ore mined. From asteroids can both process and store ore. Get this bad boy rotated where it's not taking up too much space. All right, so we will be having the ore processor built but in the meantime, Jago is doing something, and Yuri is here. So let's draft Yuri. 
get them in the shuttle pod or in the shuttle. I got these come on because I need to get him in there too. Get him in there. And we are sending our away team to the derelict ship that's close by here. Kind of do need another crew member because it would be very helpful. So maybe on the two derelict ships that we have here in this area, we might find us a, another crew member. There's a possibility right here because this is a hypersleep chamber that was flashing there. I'm not going to grab it just yet because, oh, shoot, I want to stop shooting. <laughs> I want to get through here and make sure there's no, okay, here we go. All right, so let's get up here and let's check out. Looks like we do. We have Francis. So let's get everybody back to the ship. And while we're heading back to the ship, we'll check out Francis. Francis is a bartender. So that's going to be mining, medical, weapons, navigation. So that's going to be good stuff for us. I don't think it doesn't help out with his research and gunner. His weapons is already a three. So he'll be another away team member if we need him to be. Speaking of which, also, we're also going to need another bed. So let's go ahead and get that. Can't build it yet, but everybody's asleep, and we will definitely get on that next. Also, need to go ahead and move our chair here and put another table in there so we have another seat. Also, do we want to go ahead and put in a little bit of a couch? say for everybody that will hold off we'll be all right so we do have this ship explored already so let's go ahead and pull all those items off that we can everybody is asleep so they've already made it back to the ship already we'll try to go ahead and grab yuri and, and jago uh jago off the bat Sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. All right, so let's grab our two our away team or on the shuttle and let's head over to the next ship. Who knows? We might find another crew member. Wouldn't that be some shit? That would actually be damn good if we found another crew. Be the first time that I've ever found two crew members in one system, even though they were on different ships. It's just being able to find that, that would be pretty awesome. Ah, shit. I didn't mean to do that. And we just alerted to anyone and everyone that is on the ship, if there is anyone, that we are on the ship as well. All right. Let's uh, get everybody back to the shuttlecraft and get them home. And we'll come check out this ship in a moment. So this is the first one here, select all transfer. And this one is the other one. So we have the Cult of New Haven here. This is the CNHS Miradid and the CNHS Apopolis. I can't say these names. I suck at pronunciation, by the way. Just so you know, do not, please do not judge me on my uh, communication skills. Okay, so we've got journal entry two and three we found on these ships. So there is a uh, log two or entry two of Call Me Crazy. Y'all remember Blondie from the last uh, recordings that we've done? We ran into Blondie before. All right, and this is entry three. I wonder if we'll run into Blondie again. Be pretty interesting to see see that character again. I mean, there wasn't much to our first initial encounter with them, but. All right, so we've got this ore processor built now. Can we get this other stuff? Oh, yes, we can. Giddy, giddy. I don't know what it's going to turn it into once we get it here on our ship and everything, but we do uh, have the ore processor now. So, yeah, just that ore processor alone is going to be a big addition as far as our construction area and everything goes as far as what we need to have room for all right we got 18 whole blocks how's our recycler doing recycler says we got 18 still got 25 more to go through 
That was a fire. Oh shit. Put a fire out. 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 What do you mean temperatures? Is it hot? We need a thermal regulator. Alright, let's get us a thermal regulator back here because that's not good to be having fires already. Probably not a bad idea. Anyway, seeing how it is that we have the engines in this area as well. So we'll put some thermal generators in. Let's go, folks. Let's get this stuff moving. All right. So got that stuff. Let's go ahead. Furniture wise, get us another table and another chair in here. That way we have plenty of room for everybody to sit down to eat. Bessie's still. Not in the greatest of moods. What's going on with her? No entertainment. Minor discomfort. Little hungry. Okay. Well, we're working on it, y'all. We're working on it. I'm trying to get that researched in so you get y'all damn jukebox. That's going to add to their comfort. We can put it in there. I mean, it's not going to hurt. Might be beneficial. All right. So our ore processor here is going at it. Um, it's showing me the what it's got but it's not telling me what it's doing as far as you know what it's pumping out or anything these folks are back to sleep again i do have the f mfb haven or leisure station here it's got access to services share vision visiting is allowed available missions oh yes there's also i'm sorry it's another thing if you bring up as well there are now missions that you will be able to get from other civilizations that we run into as long as well as uh stations not just uh spaceships but they might give you a mission to go do something could be so much as even going to hunt down a bounty hunter i think is what i read or something along those lines so that'll be uh something new and, and different to come to uh space haven it's radically helpful or anything at this point in time let's see we got everything off this ship yes Let's go to the other ship. Let's select all. All right. So select all. And that will pick up all that. Um, fruit, meats, things of that nature. Some hyper fuel as well. We more than likely will go ahead and start salvaging these uh, ships. Once I get all the first base supplies off. Should have pushed that research station here against the wall. This is carbon and base metals is what we're getting out of it so far is what it looks like. We are going to be doing that once we uh, get through with this system. Francis is our, another one of our big guys draft. Let's send the chastity down here. Undrafter. Francis draft. And Bessie, where is Bessie? Bessie is currently researching. I'll leave her alone while she's doing that. Now I'll, I'll grab her now before everybody gets crazy. Draft All right, so the entire crew is now armed at least. They are going through and getting everything off these ships like I needed them to. They have finished that. So we're going to start with the first one here, or the second one that we actually explored, and start salvaging that one completely. And once it's done, then we'll jump to the next one. We'll make sure we are all good as far as supplies go. Don't want to have anything in our storage unit that is illegal or seen as like bad juju, like human parts. Because they will get boarded by some of these... Um, civilizations or these people that you come upon that will hurt your ship and everything and make sure you're not carrying contraband as they call it so they're going to start salvaging these two and i believe when we get these two here salvaged and everything we might head off to another station so they've got plenty of things going on here as you can see place to eat um, places to relax gaming system jukebox arcades all that good stuff so that's part of the services they provide um that you can use it does cost i believe but i'm not 100 percent sure what can we do for you what you want access to services services we've got um let's see 
Let's see. Tell me to do allow all. I can't do it because I can only allow a couple of them to go. I don't have the money to allow all of them to go. That's the only messed up part with that, but that's okay because we'll come upon another one eventually down the road and we'll be able to do that. Mm, they are cutting through this ship fairly quickly. Done, in the, in the, uh, done emptied out the whole scrap and energy scrap and got the other ones pretty much low or non existent. That's good for us. Get all that stuff out the way. Let's see. This is food, service. Uh, I don't need any of that. No mission and trade. Yeah, we're good. And it's getting pretty late for us here at home. So we're going to call the video here. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, liking, hitting that bell for notifications.